Illinois Deaf or Hard of Hearing students, their families, or their educators are in need of behavioral support, the Illinois Service Resource Center is there to help. ISRC is a component of the Illinois Statewide Technical Assistance Center, supporting deaf and hard of hearing student behavioral needs. ISRC provides support to students, educators, and families. Behavior support is available at three levels. Universal, which benefits all students. Targeted, for students in need of extra support and intensive for students with high levels of need for behavior support. At the universal level, ISRC provides assistance with development and implementation of positive behavior intervention and support systems in deaf and hard of hearing programs. In addition, ISRC also provides quarterly training of 25 behavior support teams from deaf and hard of hearing programs throughout Illinois with follow-up coaching, annual behavior support recognitions, and classroom management mentoring. At the targeted level, ISRC services include data collection coaching and assistance with development of check-in, check-out systems and simple function-based interventions. Support with deaf student learning issues and behavior-related educational placements is also included. At the intensive level, ISRC provides support to educational teams with the development of functional behavioral assessments and behavior intervention plans for deaf and hard of hearing students and also helps facilitate homeschool wraparound type teams. The John Powers Center in Vernon Hills, Illinois is the ISRC demonstration site for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports, or PBIS, in a deaf and hard of hearing program. ISRC came to me and said, you know, would you like to do this behavior program? And I had heard a lot about PBIS already, so I was familiar. And, you know, I thought it would be a really great thing to bring our school together, and it really has, really has. We have quite a few different special education programs in the building, you know, and there was this feeling of separateness because, you know, we're from different disciplines, but PBIS really is the thing that, it's the glue that sticks us all together. The school selected as an overall theme, hands working together for teaching students the behavioral expectations to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Here the theme for PBIS is hands working together. Um, you know, and that's kind of because, you know, we use sign language to communicate and, um, you know, we all work as a team. I think that's why we chose that. You know, I think that's a really good theme for the program. The thing that really excites me about the three expectations in the building is you go and ask any of our kids, you know, what are the three expectations of the PBIS program and they know. Um, the thing that often impresses me is that you can say, well, what does responsibility look like in the hallway? And they can tell you. What does responsibility look like in the classroom? And they can tell you. You know, they can tell you because they do it. You know, they, and so that tells me that they're really learning about what those behaviors look like. They're learning the cool tools. Teachers are actually teaching them in the class. And the kids can very easily talk about the three things, the three expectations safety, responsibility, and respectfulness. Students are taught lessons on what these behaviors look like in different areas of the school and are then recognized for demonstrating the expected behaviors. Everybody had their own behavior program going on in their classroom and so you know it's nice to have the same one and we all speak the same language you know it's about respectfulness responsibility and safety and everybody speaks the same language and and you can frame behavior in those three things very nicely students who are being good receive tickets which can be exchanged for various items at the school store ISRC is involved with our program they really provide a lot of support with our students that have behavioral needs, you know, and it's because of that relationship that PBIS started. Um, one of the other things that helps with the success of PBIS is that it's really a very nicely set up program. The simplicity of it, the, the fact that there are checklists that the team can use, it really makes the process 
simple. So it was great. It was easy to do. It wasn't like we had to do all this research. It really, it's all there for you. 25 behavior support teams from deaf and hard of hearing programs around the state come together quarterly for training provided by ISRC. Nationally known speakers provide training on behavior support and ISRC provides ongoing follow-up coaching for the teams. I think in the years past when ISRC would come out, I think the teachers just didn't really take that responsibility. They didn't say, you know, they, they kind of said, oh yeah, that I've tried that, or they might say, oh, that they might think that would work, but that would never work. And I think when it w instead, when they have gone out now and they have gotten some of this training, they're taking this back, and it's not just somebody from ISRC coming out and making these suggestions. It's when ISRC comes out now, they're working with the team to come up with those ideas and those suggestions, and I think it takes more responsibility than to keep that responsibility on the staff person instead of just on somebody else. Classroom management mentoring is provided for first year educators of deaf and hard of hearing students and teachers with more experience upon request. The new educators follow a curriculum aimed at developing skills in implementing positive behavior support systems within the classroom. I heard about ISRC through my deaf and hard of hearing supervisor. We had two students with behavioral problems in my classroom this year and she suggested I contact ISRC in order to help me better in the classroom. The mentoring process was wonderful. I had a lot of questions uh, coming into this. I had never had a behavior or a student with a behavior problem before. And first of all, she answered all my questions and she made me feel very at ease and very comfortable and very confident, even though I felt that it, I didn't know what I was doing at first. But uh, she helped me lay out teaching strategies that would be helpful. She also helped me with behavior modifications in the classroom. She gave me lots of tips and lots of suggestions that I'd never heard before. She really held my hand through the whole situation. I noticed a huge change in the behaviors of all my students after I started implementing the strategies given to me by ASRC. I was actually starting to use it for one student and then I would carry it over to all the other students. Their behavior changed, they became more active in school, uh, they wanted to learn more, and they were more attentive in school. It was really great. 